off number 25 and looking at number 26 right now we're still in the sawtooth in idaho checking out the mega classic the sickle just giving it its first look but more than that i really want to introduce you guys to a very special guest um probably the most special guest we'll have in this entire project someone that's one of the most decorated skiers of all time uh, has won countless awards but has never actually done anything like we're trying to do. That person? My wife! And Theo. <laughs> so if you if you don't know, Elise is a very accomplished skier, but won many awards, one of the best female skiers of all time, but has generally done things out of helicopters and snowmobiles, like I did for uh, 15 years. And as I've gotten into this kind of climbing for my lines thing. Now I'm dragging her along for one, for her first, for her first time putting crampons on, first time using ice axes, ropes and all that stuff. Some may question uh, the fact that this is, the first time I do that is on this line. Yeah. <laughs> when you drive in, it pops out at you. It calls all your attention. I mean, this whole range is so beautiful to look at, but that right there, that's what makes you go wow. That upper section is pretty steep and pretty sustained for a while. It's a pinner at the top. <laughs> the reports are it's definitely thin this year. It's like pretty chippy. It's got a nice curve to it. Nice and tight. That's what she said. That's what he said. Yeah, that's true. This whole Sufferfest idea. <laughs> that Cody's really taken on is, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is my cup of tea, but I'm giving it a sip tomorrow and see, see how it goes. talking about how it's so much balmier than it was two days ago when they came out, but I am not warm. <laughs> it was still negative five Fahrenheit in the car. That's pretty cool. Ready to go. Ski a rad couloir with my wife. I'm excited. That'll help. Your load lifters. Probably the biggest pack she's ever used or carried. She in the test. Well, Buenos Dias. We are walking in the woods on this beautiful morning, getting in the groove. Elise is back there on her first big mission. And this mission today, the sickle on Horseman Peak. Well, we've done about a mile touring already. Got about three and a half to go. Covered about two miles on a snowmobile. Around total about six and a half miles to get to the top. We're gonna be doing about 3,700 vertical feet of climbing today to ski a Kular. It tops out in the probably 50 degree range. It's quite steep. Really looking forward to this day. Looking forward to getting Elise up her first true ski mountaineer in line. Let's do this. Right there. I realized that uh, basically 
basically, I'm doing Cody's boot camp right now. <laughs> Long days of walking. Not something I usually do, and so if you don't do something very often, it's always a bit tiring. But damn it, I'm gonna make it to the top today. Yeah, we're nearing the base. We've done about three and a half miles. We got about a mile, a little less, to go to get to the base of the valley of the line. And we start making our way up. Following the captain. How's the music? It's rockin'. I'm in a dance party right now. It's great. I should actually just play it on my phone so you guys can dance with me. <laughs> really having to keep up. I mean, we started touring this morning at about 7.30, 7.45, and it's 11 o'clock right now, and we haven't really taken a break yet. So we're just charging. All right. Not the apron, checking it out for the first time. About to get to this bench. Elise has made an amazing recovery from the slow start to just crushing it now. Stoked to get into this thing. Elise looks smooth yeah. through most of it. I mean, the apron will suck like it did the other day. Elise looks smooth. Ooh, my head's got a little off. Be good boot packing. Tie it together. Job so far. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait for me. Always playing catch up. How many times have you stopped under the couloir, transition from skins to crampons? Well, the last time I probably did it was when I did terminal cancer with you guys last year. But I don't do it very often because it's not really my jam. It's like if I'm ski touring, I'm usually going to be doing it in powder. Yeah. You and I, not so much. Powder, what? I forgot about that. Yeah, it's some foreign substance. <laughs> like a pro. Yeah. It's like you've done this before. So, two things, Elise. If you just get to a point where it just, it just feels too exposed and you're like, screw this, totally fine, just let us know, yell up to us. Come down, we can prep like a pad on how to get all your stuff on. Pretty much almost any way up, except for maybe the last 10 feet, we'll be able to, you'll be able to put your skis on. The other thing is, if you want to use your pole like for more security, mm -hmm. flip it upside okay. down and then it gets in way deeper. Yeah. That's probably why you just do it. That's it. Yeah. You know, I just feel extra nervous because I had to put all this extra gear on that I've never used before. Otherwise, I don't feel that nervous. I shouldn't feel that nervous right now. Here we go. Up into the abyss. Just making our way um, halfway up, right as it starts to ramp up. I mean, it looks decent for like you and I, but for old snowstop powder hunter, she's probably yeah. gonna be the worst snow she skis all year. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the worst <laughs> snow I ski all year. We have a, a different tolerance level or liking for types of snow. <laughs> I like safe and firm. She likes soft and deep. I love boot backing up couloirs. That's good shit. This is great. Stable and not too bad. I learned a lesson from Ingrid Backstrom many years ago. She uses it as a tool to teach uh, free ride skiing. And it really resonated with me. And what the lesson is, 
is if you smile, then it helps relax you. Because if you're smiling, then, I don't know, there's something chemically that happens in your body that just kind of, <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna be smiling a lot to keep me nice and relaxed. <laughs> Well, the good news, bad news is because these people skied it, skiing down, we're gonna be pretty good on the rocks, but because these people skied it, it's gonna be pretty hard back. A million hop turns. A million hop turns or a million side slips. Yeah. <laughs> There's no pride lost in slides of side slipping. I think I can kind of see the top, uh, which is pretty exciting. How are you feeling with the exposure? I'm doing okay. I think you're doing awesome. Here. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're crushing it. Still feel good with one axe? Yeah. This section is gonna suck. So bad. Like, it's hard to penetrate an ice axe at points. All I can say is I'm glad we're almost to the top. This steep stack is gonna be Dad. that like the going up was going to be the worst part <laughs> that is going to be the worst part really? that is so steep and the snow is such crap and it's so tight it's not going to look pretty for the cameras i'll tell you that it's going to be survival skiing but hey i survived this far <laughs> i think i can manage a little bit more on the way down like if you don't feel like you need your axe but you want it quickly available I put it right like this, essentially. Lean your strap like that, and then it's right there. I mean, rocker skis right now is not the greatest. Care. And now I am legit scared. Not for myself, but just because it's watching my wife and I do not want anything bad to happen to her. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so nervous right now. Hi! This doesn't feel as bad now that I'm getting down in it. better through here but it's still like it's such a trench in there like I can't make a turn yet you are extreme ski so extreme thanks work honey <laughs> that 
tell you the turn's not really worth it. Wasn't that fun. <laughs> Yeah, I almost just went over the back. You're giving me the, the full enchilada experience. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is a hard pack. Wow. You are successfully side slipping the sickle cooler. It's called skiing because he has skis on. Oh Holy hell, it's bad. Ones are pretty horrible. Oh, they're really bad. Here. Yeah, the last couple of turns is finally the snow is changing and it's gonna get better. Yeah. but the adventure isn't over. Oh God, no. I did. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I think Cody's sandbagging me. I haven't been present for all his lines so far, but I have watched all of them and none of them have had that much techie bullshit, side slip, down climb stuff going on. So I think he sandbagged me. He's got a point on that. You actually got to participate in some of the worst <laughs> skiing. <laughs> I'm so happy I was included in this. But I'm proud of her. There was one trip report I read that said it takes almost as long to get out as it does to get in, so. Well, the line is behind us, but we've got about five and a half miles ahead of us. <laughs> I'm really just indoctrinating Elise with ski mountaineering thing. It's uphill both ways. You ski terrible <laughs> snow. It's super sketchy and then you go home. So let's do it before it gets dark because it's going to get dark oh, soon. It's, it's going to get dark on us. Captain Cody, uh, how much further do we have to go? Five more minutes. <laughs> Plus a couple more hours. Oh, five more minutes. Plus a couple more hours. Let's. Uh -uh. That's what I think. Oh my God. <laughs> and you guys wonder why I'm not on more 50 project lines. It's terrible snow. It's uphill both ways. You start in the dark, you finish in the dark. And it's smelly. Pretty much the 50 project. It, it smells, we're outside and I can actually smell that. Well, time we got 6.45, the sickle back there, Elise right there. Making it, <laughs> me behind. She's doing it, she's doing it folks. 
Only takes five minutes to go a couple miles. What a trooper. She tells me she hates touring, but she crushed it today. Thirty-seven hundred vert, fourteen miles, twelve hours from the sled to sled, and she did it. She did wow. it. Wow! Almost back to the car. Yeah, we still got it. I mean, it's a motorized vehicle. Oh, Forty. You did not tell me it was going to be this bad. We did it. More than just we did it, she did it. That was impressive. I don't know why everyone's so impressed. I'm a professional skier. Duh. <laughs> I'm not a professional walker. Let's be real, we walked 14 miles to side slip down a halfway down a couloir. So are you a are you a ski mountaineer now? That did not win me over. <laughs> I, I mean I would love to go on another mission or two, but that did not win me over. Mm -hmm. Nope. I like what I do. <laughs> Proud of you, honey. Thanks. Let's go get some <laughs> food. Pizza. Nice work, buddy. Thanks, you too. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah.